not so damn funny. <laughs> just openly laughing at me. <laughs> Go to hell. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm feeling a bit cranky because I'm hungry. What happened was that I, uh, I was, I was going to have lunch today and I thought, well, I'll, I'm going to try and lose weight. So instead of had, having lunch, I, I had a power bar. You know, one of them, I, I, it's not called a power bar. It's like one of them, you know, energy bar things. And um, they're not very good. <laughs> And it's making me cranky. I'm very, I get very cranky when I'm hungry. Do you get cranky? Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff. Sorry to bring it up. But I... I hate you. <laughs> My only solace is giving you a hard time. I feel very cranky because I'm hungry and I had a power bar and it was one of those... Uh, I, I can't remember what it was called. I, it's not a power bar. It was like an energy... Because like, power bar is the name of a type of it. It wasn't that one. It was some kind of... It was some kind of nut log. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this sounds like an area you might be interested in. Yeah, in my pants. Yeah, right. Okay. So, yeah. It, <laughs> could we just do one show that didn't have this kind of innuendo in it? Look, pal, you can feel free to beat up on me all you want. I'm your emotional dumpster. <laughs> I was like beating up. I wasn't beating up on you. I said, can we get through a show without innuendo? That's me beating up on no, you. No, no, you said when you get hungry, you like to take it out on me. Feel free, pal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, you remembered all the way back to that? That was like a minute ago. Bulls. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm feeling a bit cranky and hungry, and I, you know, you shouldn't skip meals if you're trying to lose weight. But then, you know, that's what people say, don't skip meals if you're trying to lose weight. And I'm like, well, how the hell do you lose weight then? <laughs> oh, get plenty of exercise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have smaller meals. Yeah. No, you have smaller meals. <laughs> I'm so cranky, I'm having an argument with myself. <laughs> I'll be right back. Sponsored by Denny's. America's Diner is always open. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Sit down, relax. That was really awesome. The folks at home will never know you're just a machine. <laughs> Greg, don't start that internet rumor again. Yes, I'm starting it again. <laughs> so the audience isn't real? No, the audience isn't real. It's made up of tiny, appreciative robots. <laughs> <laughs> Why tiny? Because I'm actually very small. Do you know the size of your television? That's my actual size. <laughs> I mean, they're like, whoa, you look bigger than you are on TV. I'm like, how big's your TV? <laughs> like, like, you, like, is that what you are? <laughs> hey, everybody. Well, here's a funny thing. <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> Not everybody is having a great day, though. Uh, it was not a great day for the uh, nutjob dictators of the world. No, no. Uh, Muammar Gaddafi is, in fact, no Muammar Gaddafi. <laughs> a spokesperson for the Libyan rebels said Gaddafi will soon be replaced by Ashton Kutcher. I'm like, what? <laughs> It'll never work. I don't know. If Ashton walks around taking his shirt off all the time, it might work. 
<laughs> you say what you want about Gaddafi. Really, you can. You say what you want. You see me. <laughs> But you can say <laughs> you can say what you want about Gaddafi, but for a dictator, he was fashionably dressed. I mean, that that Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, and uh, he only wears that members-only jacket, and then Kim Jong Il, he, he doesn't even wear a jacket at all. Do you mean that picture of Kim Jong? Look at that. <laughs> that is one angry lesbian right now. <laughs> I'm like, is that flowers he has in a beer can? <laughs> it's the little touches that work, isn't it? Anyway, they're, they're not fashionable, but Muammar Gaddafi, he was all about fashion. So let's now take a nostalgic look back at Gaddafi through the years. Gaddafi in the fashion years. Yeah. Take that, you son of a bitch. No. Uh, it's appropriate that today was the day that Gaddafi got his comeuppance, though, because he was a terrible bully. And today is, of course, Spirit Day, a day against all bullying of all types. Uh, people wore purple today. I'm wearing purple here. Uh, people uh, wore it from victims of bullying. The entire city of Los Angeles behind me, as you can see, is almost entirely purple. <laughs> Personally, I'm wearing the purple tie to support the cause, and I'm wearing purple briefs to support my junk. <laughs> Nestled in there, snug as a bug in a rug. I, uh, you know, there are all kinds of bullies, though. Of course, you get the evil dictator uh, bullies, uh, you get your schoolyard bullies, you get your uh, internet bullies, you get uh, w woolly bully. <laughs> Wooly bully. Had a great lyrics for that song. Wooly bully. Wooly bully. Wooly bully. <laughs> anyway, it's nothing, what I'm saying, there's nothing new about bullying. That's all I'm saying. There's nothing new about it. It's, it's been around as long as there's people. I mean, you go back through history. Only yesterday, in fact, a fully intact Viking boat was discovered by archaeologists in Scotland. The Vikings were terrible bullies. They, they plundered villages. They attacked ships. They texted pictures of their penis on their Facebook page. <laughs> Anyway, what happens, this Viking boat is found in Scotland, right? It's a lovely place. And uh, it, the boat was deep underground, not seen by anyone for over a thousand years. Right now, Muammar Gaddafi's like, why didn't I hide there? But the... It... <laughs> what I've seen is these archaeologists have been trying to find this boat for years. They finally get it on the same day that the most notorious di dictator in the world gets shot. <laughs> You're like, oh, come on! These archaeologists are digging away for six years, and they're like, oh, come on! I know, what it's, I know what it's like to be toiling away for years for little or no return or recognition in the dark underground with no one around but a skeleton. I know what it's like. Get some archaeologists to discover me! Anyway, the discovery of the Viking boat it is actually a really big deal. Today, the lead archaeologist said, it's the sort of thing I dreamed of as a boy. Now I'm like, well, the sort of things I dreamt of as a boy were a little different, but to each his own. <laughs> actually, I might have had a dream about a big boat full of dudes, now when I think about it. <laughs> do we have a, a picture of a Viking boat, do we? Uh, that's awesome. Can I ask how, how the hell did we get that picture? <laughs> Why did you say that? It's a, it's a photo. Is that a painting or a photo? I can't tell. The lighting's too bad in the studio. I can't even see. Oh, it's a painting, is it? Oh, good. <laughs> anyway, what I'm saying, the boats had a big bunch of guys all rowing, and then there's one guy at the back with a drum, you know, the boom, boom, boom. It was as simple as that. It was a very cushy job. The, the drummer didn't have to row. He just a very simple drum beat. It wasn't like Drumline. That's an awesome movie, isn't it? <laughs> Oh. I'm like, what? I was on cable there, I was always and then he played the other guy's drum, the other guy's like, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, the, the the drum on the Viking boat is nothing like that. It's just a boom, 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 boom. It's nothing fancy, it's like Ringo Starr, you know, very simple boom. boom, boom. 
<laughs> no, he's a great drummer, Ringo Starr. Underrated drummer. He's great, but he's simple. He keeps it simple. Uh, Ringo wouldn't have been any good on a Viking boat. They'd be like, whatever you do, man, don't let the drummer sing. <laughs> He'd be like, I'd like to be under the sea in an octopus's gun. I think I might have got myself in trouble there. <laughs> anyway, I've always been fascinated by Vikings because they had gods for everything. They had uh, Thor, the god of thunder, uh, Loki, the god of mischief, Chamwow, the god of cleanliness. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an interesting fact about Vikings. Really? Yeah, why not? <laughs> they were the, one of the first peoples to uh, domesticate dogs. I mean, they were, they, they didn't, they used them for something else, though. They, this is true, they had, uh, they used dogs as napkins. They, no, not like that, they wouldn't go, wah, 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 like that. Mm, that was tasty. No, it was when they sat down for the big Viking-y dinners, they let the dogs roam around and they would wipe their hands and the dogs would say, well, that's how they used it. And when the Viking said dinner time, the dogs would be like, uh oh <laughs> I hope they don't need toilet paper. <laughs> That's right, Viking dogs sounded like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> you got any purple on today, Jeff? You went over a little... Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> no, no, you only got the one arm working, so it'd be... Um, um. <laughs> and then the Vikings would only work down one side, your boat would go in a circle. Boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> yeah, we're going down. You got, a, you got a little purple ascot? Yeah, I'm wearing a little ascot. I got this from uh, George Hamilton. Nice! I didn't know you knew George Hamilton. Yes, I knew him in the biblical sense. Wow, you buried the lead right there. If you know what I mean. No, actually, he buried the Go lead. Go away! <laughs> All right, so you want to uh, do the Sex? commercial thing? No, not have sex, do the commercial. Oh, sure. Sorry, I got a little worked up there. Tonight's program, our viewers are encouraged to periodically visit the restroom. And take it from me, that's the only way some of you will be doing any sort of laughing during this show. Hey! Well, Well done, everybody. Uh, <laughs> you all right, then? You ready to do this? I I'm mean, I, I'm ready. Man. I'm ready let's to do, do this. It. You ready? Yeah, you want to get going? Let's make it happen. All right, okay, let's do it. Pro let's, let's be professional it. for once. No, we'll do a complete email segment. No innuendo or smut of any kind. <laughs> oh hell. Yeah, that's how. We, that's the rule for the. We're going to do a good, uh, long time. <laughs> We're going to have a lengthy period where we have no <laughs> of any type, right? Yeah. So this, imagine, you know, if this segment was a large sausage, mm. it's going to be, that's all it's going to be, an actual sausage on a plate. It's not going to be a symbol for anything else. It's not going to be, ooh, ooh. It's just a sausage. Okay, well, that's going to be really hard. So you're saying this, uh, this sausage is going to be a hard sausage? Listen, I, I'm fully engorged, I mean engaged in what you're saying. All right, All right then. <laughs> All right, we'll do the thing. And then, and then introduce the emails. <laughs> Tonight's Tweet Mail is brought to you by Black Hole Itch Powder. Are your hemorrhoids the size of asteroids? Well, when Uranus can't handle gravity's pull, try Black Hole Itch Powder in your pants.
right, this is from Kelly in Trenton, New Jersey. You ever been there? Yeah, I got it. I got it. No. All right. Uh, Kelly says, uh, Dear Craig, I work as a manager at my family's restaurant and I was offered a better job elsewhere. How do I break the news? You don't. <laughs> You turn down the better job and you continue to work at your family's restaurant with your bitterness and resentment building over the years. <laughs> Until one Christmas or Thanksgiving about 15 years from now, you tell those bastards what you did for them. <laughs> They'll appreciate it. <laughs> CBS Cash. <laughs> This is from Ben in Adelaide, Australia. You ever been to Adelaide, Australia? Yeah, you got a little place Adelaide, there? I like to go swimming in the Hey, Craig, I was talking to a girl uh, on the bus, and there was a bit of an awkward pause when I noticed she was looking at my crotch. What should I have done? <laughs> it's an etiquette question. Over to you, Jeff. Well, if someone's looking at your crotch, you start to gyrate slowly. <laughs> Remember, Jeff, this is an innuendo-free segment. That's correct. I'm listening. Gyrate slowly, and then... balls. If a girl's looking at your crotch, if she might, she's probably doing it, you know, um, how do they... Uh, unconsciously, you know, I mean, you know, she's not consciously looking, she's kind of like, oh, oh, like that. Right? And then, so when you catch her doing it, to help her by saying, you know you're looking right at my balls. <laughs> That's the correct answer. That's, that's the correct answer. Okay. The hell? You being passive aggressive with me, you bony son of a bitch? No, no, no. no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, this is from Erica in Seattle, Washington. Uh, this is from uh, Rory in Kalamazoo in Michigan. Never been to Kalamazoo? No, Got a little place like that? Like ah! like All right. Uh, yeah. Hey, Craig, my friend bought tickets to go to a haunted house attraction this weekend, but I hate being scared. How do I get out of it? Oh, I don't know. I don't... Ah! <laughs> See what I did? <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah! You do it, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is from Adam in Columbus in Georgia. I didn't know there was a Columbus in Georgia. Did, did... Yeah, I've got, I've got a little place over there. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, where are you supposed to look when you're getting your teeth cleaned? Jeff, this is one for you. you should, how dare you? You should look at the person's crotch. Yeah. Hey, you know what I love about when the dental hygienist cleans your teeth? When she tells you about her cat. That's my favorite. Hearing stories about somebody's cat while I'm getting my teeth cleaned and my gums are bleeding. I could never go back to the same dentist again. Uh, uh, this is uh, from Cameron in Vancouver in Washington, which is uh, not in Canada. There's a Vancouver in Canada, but this is the American one. Then it doesn't count. The hell? Hi, Craig and Jeff. My band just booked our first gig. We're all nervous about performing live. Any advice to calm our nerves? Oh, yeah. What you want to do is a time-honored tradition of not giving a rat's ass. <laughs> Think I, do I look nervous to you? <laughs> Why? Because I don't care. <laughs> right, Jeff? That's correct. CBS does. Care. <laughs> they don't really. They just say it. <laughs> what? You reacted like that was a shock. Like, wait a minute, Craig. We thought CBS really did care. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> well, maybe they do. Maybe they do actually care. Do you think CBS actually care? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. This is from Kelsey in Laredo, Texas. I don't know if you can tell from this, but Kelsey's a tit. Uh, is it all right for me to show a picture of this tit on television? It's an actual tit. That's what it is. I mean, it's a feathery tit, but it's a tit. Craig, my six-year-old son won't eat anything but macaroni and cheese. How do I get him to eat something else there? Mm, wait about 10 years. <laughs> wait about 20 years. Uh, this is from Kip in Norfolk, uh, Virginia. I don't know if you can tell, but Kip's an owl. <laughs> Much like... <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, is it bad if I get my girlfriend a gift card for her birthday? <laughs> 
<laughs> it depends. Like a four buck gift card from Starbucks? Yeah, that's probably bad. <laughs> Unless that's all you can afford. And then if it's from the heart, that's great. That's great. <laughs> Convincing? <laughs> no, 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 it's never going to work. Uh, no, it will. It'll be fine. So we've done all the emails. Anything you'd like to say? I don't know. Is there anything you want to, want to talk about? Anything you want to get off your chest? Well, I think we did. That was completely innuendo-free there, wasn't it? I mean, I did say, you know, the name of a certain type of bird, but it, there was a picture of that type of bird. So, that's what it was. Well, then you've achieved everything you've needed to achieve, Craig. <laughs> yes, you're right. Uh, for the innuendo-free segment, I am, in fact, spent. <laughs> So am I, but that's because I've been playing pocket pool this entire time. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Tonight is the uh, preeminent expert in America on giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> He's also in a very Harold and Kumar 3D Christmas, which is in theaters November the 4th. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon. Tommy. Ah, oh. Tom. Thomas. Found a picture of a tit. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's lying on the floor. How are you, young fella? That in spitting distance. I'm fantastic. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. good to see you, pal. Yeah, it's good to see you. I like your shirt. It's very, uh... You like it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's brand kinda... new. Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> That's nice. It's, uh, that's your... Is that one of them ones that goes funny on TV? Uh, you know, there's a... You know what the word for that is? What? Moray. Moray, like the eel. Like Moray Povich? Exactly. Mo <laughs> he used to wear shirts that would do that. Do you know he, he is part eel, Moray yeah. Povich? And you can't, you can't photograph him and not have that, that strobing effect. So that's why they call it Moray Povich. Exactly. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's why his show was doing... Still on doing right? great? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Still on doing great. Moray, if your yeah. show is on, call right now. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Cancel. One ring. No. Wow. How are you, pal? So let's talk Great. about giraffes. Uh, uh, here's you're the, you're thing the about America's. Them. What? A giraffe can eat its own weight in Chinese food every day. <laughs> now, I see. I made up that, that you were uh, uh, an expert you on giraffes, was, and, yeah. and and you know, right up until you said that stuff about Chinese food, people right. believed it. You know, there were there were right. giraffe enthusiasts were tuning in, saying, "Finally, right. our moment. So finally, someone's yeah. going to tell. Someone's going to tell the truth." About giraffes. About giraffes. Yeah. Instead of the web of lies <laughs> that has been perpetrated about them. Well, uh, I was. You ever I, seen a giraffe up close? <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. Uh, You've like got a young child. But, don't you, don't, don't, you, don't nothing you to the zoo? but nothing but giraffes. Giraffes' tongues are, for example, they look exactly like that. They're exactly that color. No, I don't. Yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> that is, in fact, a giraffe's tongue. I'm sorry, Peter. Sorry. Giraffe's tongue. Sorry, Morrissey. Morrissey? He's just in, in animal rights. Yeah, well, yeah. so am I. I like, I like, you know, I'm, I'm not against animal rights. I'm, you know, I'm not like, so no, I. they've got too much right. rights You would never heads, wear you know. a giraffe, yeah. No, no, I would never wear right. a giraffe's we tongue. Should, so let's let them vote. Who? Animals. Oh, animals? Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, but what if it was hands up? What if it was like raised hands voting? Then giraffes would be like, oh, oh and over so, you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, now, when I was standing backstage and you introduced me as America's, Amer or the world's premier giraffe expert, yeah, I, I was a little bit confused. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just trying to, you know, spice it up a little bit, make oh, okay. it a little more interesting. Because what we're going to say, oh, here's an actor, okay. he's very funny, he's in a movie. Yeah. That's happened before in late night. Yeah. But how often, right. how often do you say, this right. guy, he's an actor, he's right. very funny, he's a what nice guy, and he knows everything could, about giraffes. Next time, can we work out, it could be like, this guy... This guy is wanted for a crime he didn't commit. Is that true? Are you? Maybe. <laughs> and maybe I did it. I don't know. Well, were you hideously drunk? It's a possibility. Okay. Yeah. 
How are things with your young child? Uh, they're amazing. The boy, my son, you, you have a child. Having a child's hilarious. This morning, my son ordered something very specific for breakfast from me that I was making. You work in a diner? No, at our... <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's tough being a character actor. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, he, my son looked me in the eye and mm -hmm. said what he wanted for breakfast, and that was Saganaki. <laughs> Isn't that an alcoholic beverage yes. that goes with sushi? <laughs> no, it's, uh, that's uh, uh, sake. Oh. Uh, saganaki is a cheese that to properly make you have to set on fire with ouzo. <laughs> So it's cheese you know about then, is that what it is? <laughs> How does your kid know about that? He, he, it's a, one of his early words just happens to be Saganaki. And from Greek restaurants, because when stuff catches fire and he gets to know, Saganaki! Saganaki! Yeah, 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 he loves yeah, it, he's yeah, very excited. Yeah. So this morning, that was his, his brec official breakfast order was Saganaki! So uh, I, I didn't know that Lenin was a Greek name, is that it, a Greek it, name, it, Lenin? It is, there's four Y's in it. <laughs> You ever been to Greece? It's a lovely country. Oh, have I, been to, Whoa, I been to Greece? I've been to Greece. Yeah, you yeah, haven't, have you? Ha you have not lived until you've watched me crash a moped in Greece. <laughs> you haven't lived until you thought, does that guy know how to ride a moped? <laughs> I'm going to skip ahead to the answer. No. No, yeah. No. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. I thought, I, when I was in Greece, you've been to Greece? You're, no, you're actually, Greece. never. You've never been to no, Greece? No, I, I saw it on Broadway. <laughs> Completely different type of uh, thing. No, I, I, uh, I have not been to Greece. I feel terrible about have it. Have you been to Ibiza? No, no, no. Really? Because I, I feel like you're so fabulous. I feel like Scottish people are going to Ibiza to like nude beaches. Oh, they the do. They, they do. do. Yeah, I just wasn't invited. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you agree. You agree from from the outside. You're in that category of guys. Like, say I'm walking on a nude beach in Ibiza, and I ran into you. I'd be like, oh, of course. <laughs> That's fair. I think that's I think fair. So. I think yeah, it's yeah, fair, yeah, too. That's fair, yeah. You'd be like, oh, that guy, of course. Yeah, like, but if you, yeah. uh, if you run into me on a beach in uh, Ibiza and yeah. we're both naked, like, would you get a stiffy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would try because I... Yeah, I try to get a little bit of a stiffy. Yes. So, yeah, 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 me too, yeah. But you're not going to just for, like, you know, like, it's no, like, I know, it's like just... good posture. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you wouldn't go for the full giraffe. No, 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 yeah, yeah. no, no. Right. No, that would be gay. Yeah. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, just a couple guys, if we ran into each other on a nude beach in Ibiza, <laughs> let's, and let's really work out the details of this scenario, because it's getting more fun for me. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm, we're out of time, John. Oh. <laughs> we are. Uh, look, why, why don't you have a, an awkward pause, a mouth organ, or uh, go for the big cash prize? Uh... I, I would love, you know, I feel like I'll fail at the cash prize. How much is it? Fifty? Fifty dollars. In singles, except at any strip club in the United States. Can I do some kind of awkward pause while you ask me a question? And I'll do the awkward pause for free. <laughs> you know, let me tell you That's something. About, let me That's tell you something about you Hollywood types. Yeah. All right. The menu is the menu. It's not the list of Ooh, la, la. ingredients. It's the menu. You want that? You want that? You want? Oh, can I have that? But I can I have that? All right. Egg white? What's the coming to go? You. Crikey dingo. You all three. You all three. I'm doing all three. You're right with the whole all three. There you go. You ready? All right. So give me a scenario for go. a pause. Awkward pause. The awkward pause is that you uh, have uncontrollable flatulence. You're playing a mouth organ, and you have to answer a question for fifty dollars. Where's my fifty dollars? Oh, here it is. All right. You ready? Okay. <laughs> All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Within 10 years, how long did the Hundred Years' War in France last? Eight years. <laughs> Close enough. 116. My next guest is a very beautiful actress who happens to be the preeminent expert on giraffes in the United States. <laughs> I... Her new
new film, Martha Mercy, Mercy, our new film, Martha Mercy May Marlene did it. Uh, is in theatres October the 21st. Please welcome Sarah Paulson, everybody. Sarah Paulson. Before we talk about giraffes, uh -huh. may I say how utterly charming your uh, your dress looks? It, really, I don't look like an Easter egg. I not like at all. You look wonderful. It has a certain. No, I mean this in a very nice way. It's a sort of uh, retro uh, quality about it, kind of. Like a certain what? Retro, uh, like a kind like of old timey. Yes, yes. You know, like a vintage. Yeah. Thing. Is it a vintage dress? No. It's brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. But they made it look old. Yes. A bit like what they do with me here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? you? I was only saying that about I'm, giraffes. You don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, I about giraffes. Right. We'll have to pixelate right, what you right. just said. That's yeah. Right. I, I look better that way. No, no, no. Yeah. You don't know what anything about giraffes? No, they're very tall. Well, I think we all knew that. Yeah. <laughs> That's not going to make. It's not like no. TMZ. Guess what? You know. Oh, Craig. Yeah. Yeah. Are you all right? Do I'm okay. I'm nervous. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Oh, well, no, you mustn't be nervous. <laughs> Help my my palms are a little bit wet. No, it's well, mm. there you go. Uh, help yourself. No. <laughs> That's a uh, you know that a giraffe's tongue is 18 inches long. I have a long tongue. You do? Mm-hmm. I have two actually. <laughs> I do. I have a very long tongue. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? I can. So can I. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Wait. I did it. I know, but they're applauding touching your nose with your tongue. It's a special skill. Is it? Is it like this? <laughs> now you're all wet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it there like that because it's attractive. <laughs> well. No, I know. No. Do you like to go to zoos then and go and see animals? I do, but then I get a little, you know, sad, sad for the animals. Zoos. Yeah. yeah. No. Well, you should go to good zoos, you know. The, oh, a good the... zoo is somehow better because they're not actually trapped behind bars at a good zoo? <laughs> <laughs> well, then, why don't you go on safari then? Go on a safari. Because I don't like airplanes, and in order to get to the safari place in the world, I have All to get right. on a giant plane. Well, yeah, well, you're, that's, that's going to work against you. That's a shame. You get, were you frightened of flying? Yeah, I don't like it. No. Oh, I, I know I what you mean. I, I actually, um, I was terrified of flying. I got my pilot's license. But does that work, really? Oh, really? No, no, I don't think no. it does. <laughs> but it, uh, luckily, it makes you very, very busy for a long time while you study to be a pilot. And then at the end of it, you go, well, no, I'm just frightened and educated. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. What's with the weird puppet that's backstage? Oh, There's like a God. weird horse puppet. Oh, that's not a horse puppet, Sam. <laughs> Sarah, that's not a horse puppet. <laughs> that's my special friend who sometimes comes to visit me. He's out of the door. That was amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Now, now that is well done. That is the uh, the actual horse from the movie Secretary. <laughs> <laughs> using uh, using science, they made it look um, him look a little faster in the movie. But that's the actual horse from the movie. <laughs> Do you like horse riding? I what? Do you like horse riding? Oh, I thought you said horse fighting. Do you like horse fighting? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they had that, but I'm they in. Do. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Click, 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 click. Bam! No! <laughs> no, no, I, I wouldn't. Horses wouldn't fight. Oh, they're they're lovely uh, animals. With they frighten me. Hor yeah, everything's. How are you going to get around? You're frightened of horses and you're frightened of airplanes. It's How do you true. get anywhere? I don't know. I don't leave the house a lot. This is a big day for me. Really? Uh, this was a big, big outing. Are you are you uh, shut in? Yes. Oh. Yes. That's uh, that's actually a disease. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know. Thanks for bringing it up in that. Well, yeah, that's nice. I, I didn't. I didn't actually bring it up. <laughs> no, I did. You, but you sort of like you know, brought it into this whole other painful place. Yeah. Well, it's not that painful for you, know you I mean? obviously, because you're out, and so you're doing well. You're on your on your way to recovery. Soon you can go to a place with real windows. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, I wish I was. I, uh, 
<laughs> so, um, so you live in Los Angeles then? I do. Yeah. Wow, am I boring you? No, no, I was just thinking, where are you from? Oh, I'm from, I was born in Tampa, Florida, but I lived in New York City since I was five years old. Um. But now I've been out here for a while. And isn't that fascinating? No. <laughs> Yeah, a little. Not, uh, not so a, much, no. Oh, not no, really. Not so no, much, it is no. quite fascinating. Yeah, it, it is. is. It's fascinating. It do is. you do you uh, enjoy the uh, the, <laughs> the surfing? <laughs> do you like surfing in California? No, because you know what? what? I'm afraid of sharks. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, that's legitimate, though. That is a legitimate fear. I mean, I've, I've, I've swum with sharks. Why would I, you do that? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I went in the water during Shark Week on another channel. Why would you do that? Because they asked me to, and I sometimes think girls find you attractive <laughs> if you do stupid things like that. That is sometimes. true. Yes, right, that's true. Right, right. So yeah, yeah. I was swimming with these sharks, and the sharks were coming over, and they were like, oh. <laughs> and I thought, if that shark wanted to hurt me, it, would, it could do it very easily. You were not in a cage? You were just no. down? No. We, uh, <laughs> in the shark diving world, um, <laughs> cages... If you forgive They're me. They're for... Lingonberry! Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, what? You, what? Have you. you have a picture of what? Me down with sharks? Yeah. Oh, let me see it. Look at that. That's me down with sharks. <laughs> I didn't know you had that. That's kind of creepy that you keep that. Why do you keep that? He keeps it in his wallet and looks at it. He does, like, yeah. <laughs> Why did you forsake me, my toothy beauties? Why? <laughs> We're out of time. Oh, awkward God. pause. Awkward and it goes pause. Yeah, it goes fast. Right, awkward <laughs> pause. Awkward pause. Mouth organ. What? Mouth organ. Mouth organ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or? <laughs> I'm going to go mouth organ. No way. Oh. Go the... What about well, big cash would... prize? Yeah, but why would someone go for big cash prize when there's a mouth organ category? Well, but your tongue, you, you, you should go for mouth organ with a tongue like that, okay. I think. You ready? Okay. No, no, you take it out of the box. <laughs> You know, blowing the box is a completely different skill. <laughs> and you end all free, Jeff! And you end all free! <laughs> you alright? You ready? Yeah. Alright, can you play? Nope. Well, I'm gonna teach you. Okay. Alright. Put your lips together like a little Percy set, like that. Now blow. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. Come on now. Okay. Jeff? Me. Okay. If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? <laughs> Jeff and I are practicing for our new commercial. Do that look that you do when you're in a commercial, you know, you look up your eyes like that and you go like that. <laughs> do that. I can't look up, you idiot. <laughs> well, all right, then, you know, try and look happy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. You're very close to me right now. I know. I hope that's your hand. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>